Vice Chairs Finley and Marsh and members of the committee. For the record, my name is Chris Coughlin. I'm Legislative Director of Children First for Oregon. Children First for Oregon supports House Bill 3349A um, to invest current dollars more wisely and fairly in response to Oregon's statewide housing crisis. Equitably reforming Oregon's biggest housing subsidy, the mortgage interest deduction, so that state funds can better serve Oregonians facing housing instability and also help us address structural racism is on the 2019 Children's Agenda and supported by numerous Children Agenda partners, many of whom you'll hear from um, in a few, within the next few minutes. Across Oregon, families with children, youth aging out of foster care of the foster care system, and unaccompanied youth are experiencing homelessness and housing instability. There were over 21,000 homeless students in Oregon's K-12 schools last year, and we also know that children often enter the foster care system for multiple reasons. One factor that's traced by the Department of Human Services is inadequate housing and the stress that that puts on families. The number of child welfare removals, including, including housing instability, has been growing over the last three years from 13.1% in 2015 to 17.2% in 2017. We also support the investments that you heard um, Representative Kenny Geyer speak to. I particularly want to also call out the building additional affordable housing for the youth aging out of foster care. It's a, a significant need. And also funding those services to help families um, when they are coming back together. In both urban and rural areas, rapidly rising home prices keep the dream of home ownership out of the reach of too many families. Additional investments in supporting home ownership through this adjustment in the mortgage interest dedu deduction can help address historic barriers for communities of color. Thank you. 